Hello and welcome to the devotion for Monday, December the 3rd, entitled, Yes and No. Two very powerful words, yes, no. Now, it's interesting that Jesus talked about our life. Now, this week we've been talking about all the fluff, all the stuff that we do that's superficial, that uh, blows across the surface, that many times masks the truth that loses the point, that fogs up what should be clear. Now, in Matthew 5, 34, Jesus is speaking, and he says, I tell you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the great city of the king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot even make one hair black or white. Simply let your yes be yes and your no be no. Anything beyond that comes from the evil one. Now, talking about fluffing it up, when we have to swear, go, you know, no, no, I promise, I swear by, by Jerusalem, I swear by the temple, this is the truth. The second that I have to do that, the second that I have to say anything besides yes and no, shows something about my character. You see, when people know my integrity, they know my character. They know that when I say yes, it's yes. And when I say no, it's no. There is no need to swear or to fluff or convince. Something about my integrity. Can I get to the place where I can just say yes and no? And people go, that's the way it is. That's what John believes. I don't have to bolster it up. I don't have to fluff it up to get people somehow to go, oh, he must really mean that. Oh, wow. I mean, you know, that must be something he really believes. Is my language so fluffy? Is my, count, uh, my life so wishy-washy that a yes and a no just isn't going to get it? that I have to convince someone, that I have to add to it, I have to swear by something bigger than myself to try to get someone to believe what I'm saying? Or have I walked out such a way, such a life, that is not so fluffy and superficial and surfacy that when I say yes or when I say no, people go, that's what John believes. And what about, what about your life? Can you just simply say yes or no? Do you have to fluff it up? Do you have to work it up to try to get something because we've been uh, at some point so wishy-washy, so indecisive that a yes and a no just doesn't do it for us? People just don't listen. They don't believe. They don't trust us to have integrity. I want to get to that place. I want to get to the place to where when I say yes or no, people go, wow, that's where he stands. I know. He's a person of integrity. He really walks out what he believes. He doesn't blow wind up people's skirts. He doesn't, you know, uh, go with trying to be, you know, politically correct and jump back and forth depending on who he's with. No, when he says yes, he means yes. When he says no, he means no. Father, I ask that you would help us to be the type of people, to live the type of lives that are not superficial and fluffy in such a way that when we say yes and no, people still don't believe us. But that we would get to the place to my yes means yes and my no means no. That my character and my integrity are such that I don't have to add anything to it, as Jesus said. I can simply say yes or no and people know that's my conviction. That is where I will stand. And Lord, I ask that as we seek that, as we walk toward that commitment, that dedication, that health in our life, that you will guide us each step. Open our eyes, open our ears, and our understanding that our yes means yes, and our no means no. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, consider, is my yes and no enough? And if it's not, let's begin to change our lives so that it becomes that. And I'll see you tomorrow.